people of the internet, welcome to webzone number 10. This week we have an electric car that I seriously want. The smart car gets smarter. Ford wants to make your EV even greener. But Eco, this isn't Green Car Weekly. So we will also talk about your shoes. My shoes? No, their shoes. Your shoes? No, their shoes. But we don't know anything about their shoes. Just keep watching. Green Tech Weekly! Well, Scott, we made it to the big one zero. Yeah, and I'm exhausted. I can't wait to say we're at 100. You edit the show, you can say that now. We want to thank all the followers out there and be sure to tell your friends. Now on with the show. For our first story, we have my dream car. I mean the Cadillac Extended Range Electric. The once concept Cadillac Converge is moving into production as the Cadillac ELR. The car is basically a Chevy Volt with the luxury of the Cadillac CTS with the T-shaped lithium battery and half EV, half gas generator. No word on price or release date, but I'm already saving up for one. Oh, did I mention the show needs sponsors? So Cadillac, if you want to roll some ads on the web, I would be happy to... Eco, you know they're not going to give you a car. Of course not. They can just lease it for me. Next up, the Smart for Two gets an upgrade. The tiny car company has decided the Tesla powertrain is not good enough and went for a more potent model from EM Motive. This gives the car a boost from 34 horsepower to 74. This means that they can now go from 0 to 60 in 13 seconds instead of the slower 23.4. The battery pack got a boost too, with a new range of 87 miles to a charge. They plan to see this new model in 30 countries, but they haven't told us the price yet. Is the US one of the lucky 30? The web doesn't know. This next story, Ford is going out of its comfort zone. How's that? They're going to offer a solar array for your home to go along with your new electric focus. They want to make sure that you're not charging for fossil fuels. Is it free or at least cheap for the solar array? Depends on what you think is cheap. Well, the Focus EV starts at around 18 grand. Well, for the solar upgrade, it'll cost you another 10 grand. I don't consider that cheap. I don't know if that's bad or good for you guys out there, but it does mean that you're not charging from the coal plant down the road. And that's good. This next story is quite amazing. The Schlacht, 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 oh, that thing made by Bosch is the record breaking electric vehicle designed to get a thousand miles per charge. The best part of this is they use existing rechargeable battery technology. What? But, but how? The 705 pound single seat vehicle is driven by two hub motors inside the wheels and powered by 14 lithium ion battery packs. This is all placed in an aerodynamic lightweight body. The total time of the record breaking journey was 36 hours and 12 minutes, going at an average speed of 28 miles per hour. This needs to be put into a production car. Maybe they could test it in my car first. Hi, I'm Peter Pixie of PeterPixie.com, professional master of ceremonies, and you're watching Green Tech Weekly. This last story puts your shoes to work. The researchers at the University of Wisconsin-Madison have come up with a way for your steps to produce energy with liquid metal. Well, this could be bad. Using the liquid metal called Galistan, in a process they called reverse electro-wetting, they place some of this metal in the heel and sole of the shoe as you walk. The liquid metal is pumped back and forth, generating about 20 watts. Oh, this is bad. The plan is to have it out in about two years. Oh, this is bad. Scott, why do you keep saying this is bad? Well, what about when it reconstitutes itself into a tiny metal assassin sent from the future to kill Sarah Connor? No, it's not that kind of liquid metal, Scott. Oh, okay. There we have another green tech filled show. Wait! What? Your mom says we need a plane. What? Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for all the links about the stories in today's show, click on the Green Tech Now link below. Click? Wait, Scott, what'd you do? You told me to click. I didn't mean for you to click. I meant for them to click. Oh, sorry, here, I'll fix it.
That's better. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and remember to rethink it green. I rethink it green. I'm gonna get you can. I'm gonna get you can. Uh, I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it. If you notice today's show didn't have any sponsors, we're still looking for some. So if you want to be our sponsor, send your info to greentechweekly at gmail.com and we'll be able to get together. Thanks again.